So now we have a new monster from Google in the AI world, Gemini 2.5 Pro. This isn't just another AI model update. It's a 1 million token beast that's poised to redefine what AI can do. Imagine an AI that can read eight entire novels or 50,000 lines of code in one go. That's what a 1 million token context window means. For context, pun intended, most advanced models until recently maxed out at a few thousand to maybe 100,000 tokens. But Gemini 2.5 Pro laughs in the face of those limits. Why is this such a big deal? Let's put it this way. Context is king in AI. The more context a model can hold, the more information it can consider at once. Gemini 2.5 Pro can juggle 1 million tokens at a time, the longest context window of any large scale model to date. In fact, Google's researchers even tested it up to 10 million tokens internally. Yes, 10 million, but 1 million is already bonkers. This huge memory means Gemini can take in your entire lengthy document, code base, or even a feature length film without breaking a sweat. No more chopping data into bits or your chatbot forgetting what you said two minutes ago. This is a new paradigm and it has the AI community shook in a good way. Gemini now can handle text, images, audio, and even video natively thanks to native multimodality. It also employs an advanced research an approach. Basically, it can think through problems step by step internally before giving you an answer. This is a departure from many earlier models that would just spit out the first completion they come up with. Let's break down the key features of Gemini 2.5 Pro that have everyone talking. Like I said, Gemini 2.5 Pro can accept and work with up to 1 million tokens in context. In practical terms, that's about five years of your text messages or 200 podcast episodes worth of transcripts all at once. Now you can feed vast data sets or lengthy documents directly into the prompt without resorting to fancy tricks. You can show it a picture, play it a sound, or even give it video content, and it can incorporate that into its reasoning. This is built in, not a bolt on. For instance, it could watch a tutorial video and answer questions about it or analyze an image and then generate related text. OpenAI's GPT-4 had some image understanding and voice, but Gemini is going full spectrum out of the box. In one internal test, researchers gave Gemini 1.5 Pro a full 45 minute movie to watch, and it was able to answer questions about the film accurately. I was stunning example of video comprehension. Gemini 2.5 builds on that, making true multimodal analysis a reality. This model doesn't just blurt out answers, it reasons through them internally. Google DeepMind has explicitly designed this model to think before speaking, so to say. In AI research terms, it uses something akin to chain of thought prompting or an internal scratch pad. The result, more accurate and coherent responses, especially in complex problems that require multiple steps of logic. In Benchmark, this shows up as improved performance on tough reasoning tests. For example, Gemini leads in a challenging exam-like benchmark dubbed Humanity's Last Exam, scoring significantly higher than its rivals. The reasoning boost means means fewer dumb mistakes and a better grasp of context nuances, which is crucial when you're dealing with a million tokens of information and multimodal inputs. If you're a developer, this part will make you smile. Gemini is now excellent at coding tasks, not only generating code, but actually running code in the background to check its work. The model can spawn a sandboxed Python environment, execute code, and use the results to refine its answer. Why does that matter? Because it massively improves accuracy on math and data problems. The AI can, for example, write a short snippet to do a calculation or query some data structure and then give you the answer, ensuring it's correct. Moreover, Gemini 2.5 Pro is tuned for complex prompts and coding, meaning it's less likely to get lost in long instructions or large code bases. Google even showed demos where with just a single line prompt, Gemini generated entire interactive simulations and games from a cosmic fish animation to an endless runner dinosaur game. That's right, it can produce working JavaScript or HTML5 games on the fly given a high level request. This out of the box coding prowess plus the huge context to hold all your code files at once makes it a dream tool for developers. While not a feature you toggle, it's worth noting that Gemini has been trained on Google's latest and greatest data sets, likely incorporating fresh knowledge up to 2025 and advanced training techniques. Google DeepMind hints that it has state of the art performance across a wide range of benchmarks from math competitions to coding tests to visual reasoning. It even supports multiple languages at high proficiency and with that giant context, it can translate or learn new languages from examples on the fly. All signs point to Gemini 2.5 being one of the most knowledgeable and versatile AI models ever released. Of course, no AI model exists in a vacuum. How does Gemini 2.5 Pro stack up against other top tier models out there? Let's compare this 1 million token monster to some 
some familiar names. GPT-4 has been the gold standard in many areas since 2023. It's incredibly capable in language tasks and coding with a context window of up to 32,000 tokens. That seemed huge until now. Gemini's 1 million token context is over 30 times larger than GPT's max. And while GPT-4 introduced image inputs on a limited basis, it doesn't natively handle audio or video in a single model. You'd need separate tools. In early benchmarks, Gemini 2.5 is beating GPT-4 on several academic and coding benchmarks, sometimes by a wide margin. OpenAI will surely have to respond because Google has thrown down a gauntlet here. One thing OpenAI still has is maturity and fine tuning. GPT-4 has been refined with uh, reinforcement learning from human feedback extensively, so it's very polished. But with Gemini's new reasoning approach and Google's resources, that gap is closing fast. Anthropic positioned Claude as constitutional AI with a focus on harmlessness and an almost human-like conversational tone. However, Gemini 2.5 Pro just dethroned Claude's context record in a big way. Even Anthropic's latest Claude 3 is far short of 1 million tokens. Not to mention Claude doesn't boast the same level of multimodality. It's primarily text and maybe code oriented. One analyst even put it bluntly, Anthropic has been dethroned by Gemini's million token window. That's strong language, but it reflects the shock in the AI community. We'll see how Anthropic responds. Perhaps Claude 4 will try to leapfrog, but for now, Google has bragging rights. As an AI enthusiast, it's hard not to get excited seeing these tech giants one-up each other because it means our AI tools get better and better. All this tech is cool in theory, but you might wonder, what can we do with an AI that remembers a million tokens? Turns out a lot of game-changing stuff. With Gemini 2.5, you could literally feed an entire book or several into the prompt and ask detailed questions about it. Legal contracts, hundreds of pages long, regulatory filings, technical manuals, dump them in and Gemini can summarize cross-reference sections or answer questions about specifics buried deep in page 793. No more splitting into chunks or losing context between parts. It can keep the whole story in mind. This could revolutionize fields like law and medicine where professionals deal with volumes of text. Instead of spending days sifting through documents, an AI assistant could do it in minutes with the context fully intact. Software engineers, meet your new friend. Gemini's long context means you can provide an entire code repository, thousands of files as input. It can then answer questions about how functions interact across files, find where a bug might be, or even write documentation for the code base. Google engineers tested this with Gemini 1.5. They gave it a whole code base and it generated documentation for it. Imagine being able to ask, hey AI, where in this project do we handle user authentication? And it actually knows because it saw all the code. Or can you refactor this code across thousands of lines at once. The integrated code execution can also let it run parts of the code to verify behavior. This is a potential productivity boost that's hard to overstate. It could also help onboard new developers to large projects much faster. One pain with chatbots historically is they forget earlier context as the conversation grows. With a million tokens, Gemini could carry on a conversation essentially for days without forgetting earlier details within reason. This opens up the possibility of truly continuous personal assistance. For example, imagine an AI life code coach or planning assistant that keeps track of everything you've told it all week, or a role play AI that remembers every plot detail in a long running story you're co-writing with it. The conversation can meander and come back and the AI still knows what was said an hour ago or yesterday. That makes interactions feel far more natural and less frustrating. It also means less repetition and re-entering information. Long term, this is a step toward AIs that maintain an ongoing understanding of a user's needs and context over extended periods, which is kind of a whole holy grail for personal AI assistance, researchers can leverage Gemini 2.5 to parse through massive data sets or literature. For instance, you could feed in all the papers published on a topic last year and ask Gemini to identify common findings or trends or give it a dump of experimental data for it to analyze patterns. Because the model can handle multimodal data, you might even mix types. Give it some text, some tables, maybe an image or two from an experiment, and have it reason across them. The context window means you don't have to pre-summarize or reduce your data as much, just hand it over and ask your questions. This could accelerate discovery or at least hypothesis generation, or video production, feed the transcript of a series of videos and get a summary or a script for a previously on segment.
content. Musicians could feed in entire lyric sheets or compositions for the AI to analyze for patterns or to suggest improvements. Because Gemini 2.5 can also consider images and audio, a filmmaker could input a script and some storyboard images and ask for improvements or ideas. The huge context makes it much more feasible for the AI to understand the big picture of a creative project, not just a snippet. Remember how earlier AI models limitations forced us to invent workarounds like chunking text or using retrieval systems. Now that those limits are expanding, people will start solving problems more directly with AI. Up until now, working around small context windows was almost an art form. You'd have to devise clever strategies to get relevant info in front of the model, like summarizing earlier content using retrieval from a vector database. With a context this large, the default approach can become just throw it all in and let the model figure it out. This simplifies development. You can prototype AI solutions faster without building an entire retrieval pipeline. As Google's documentation notes, many of those old tricks might become secondary when you can simply provide everything the model needs in one prompt. Since Gemini can handle images, audio, and video natively, developers will be more inclined to build apps that mix these. We might see, for example, customer service bots that not only chat, but also process uploaded screenshots from users or educational AIs that watch a student solve a problem via webcam and give feedback verbally. It also raises questions, what new emergent behaviors might appear when a model has essentially a much larger working memory? Does it start to exhibit more human-like long-term conversation skills or new failure modes like getting confused by too much info? Studying this will teach us about scaling laws for context. And practically, it's going to push hardware and optimization research because running one million tokens isn't cheap. And yes, speaking of hardware and cost, this model is a hungry monster. One million tokens of context means a lot of computation. For the average user, these developments might not immediately land in your favorite app this week unless you're in the beta program somewhere, but the trajectory is clear. Your AI assistants, whether it's Google's Bard, powered by Gemini, or a third-party service using Gemini's API, are going to get much more capable soon. They'll remember context from earlier in your session, or even across sessions if allowed. They'll accept larger file uploads when you need help. They'll be able to understand the image you sent and the paragraph you wrote and maybe an audio note you left all together. If you're into AI like me, Gemini's debut should have you incredibly excited. This is one of those moments where we see a genuine leap in capability, not just a small tweak. It opens up new possibilities for what we can build and imagine with AI. Larger context windows, multimodal understanding, integrated reasoning. These are likely standard features of next-gen AI. Gemini 2.5 has given us a preview today. It's a signal of where AI is heading. Models that understand more, remember more, and do more. If you're an enthusiast, this is a taste of the sci-fi-like assistance we've been dreaming of. Pay attention to it because the techniques here, like how they achieve long context or how they do chain of thought, will influence the entire industry. AI builders now have a new toe in the toolkit. If you were holding off on some crazy idea because previous models couldn't handle it, now's the time to revisit that idea. Want an AI to analyze your entire personal journal and give life advice? Or to read every research paper on a topic and debate with you? These become more feasible. Being early to understand its strengths and weaknesses will let you innovate faster Gemini 2.5 will surely push others to up their game. As an AI fan, that's thrilling. We could see OpenAI drop a surprise or meta release something to keep up. 2024 was the year of 100,000 context. 2025 is the year of 1 million. Where will we be in 2026? 10 million context in production, models that can handle entire databases of knowledge, perhaps even more specialized AIs that use this context to operate as agents for hours on end without forgetting goals. The competition means faster progress. It's a fun and slightly dizzying time to follow AI news, and Gemini 2.5 is the headline act right now. Google mentioned built for the agentic era when talking about Gemini. This hints that they see these models not just as chatbots, but as agents that can observe, plan, and act. Gemini 2.5's features like long context and multimodal input plus coding make it well suited to be the brains of an AI agent that can take in complex environments and make decisions or create content. We might get much closer to truly useful AI assistants that can handle multi-step tasks autonomously. In short, it's pushing us toward AI that isn't just reactive, but proactive and autonomous in helping us, a long-standing goal in the community.
Keep an eye on how Gemini 2.5 is adopted and what breakthroughs or challenges come from real world usage. Will we see impressive public demos showing it doing something unheard of? Possibly. Also watch for any clones or open models trying to replicate the long context idea. There's always an open source effort around the corner and definitely watch out for any announcements from OpenAI or Anthropic responding to this. The latter half of 2025 might be just as exciting if a GPT-5 or Claude Next appears to reclaim the spotlight. Today, Gemini can read a million tokens. Tomorrow, who knows, maybe the entire internet in one go. Okay, that might be a stretch and a scary one, but one thing's for sure, the race to more capable AI just accelerated and we're all lucky to witness it. What a time to be alive indeed in this age of AI breakthroughs. And I, for one, welcome our new million token overlords.